Hey loves, I'm Nashley Curla and welcome to my channel and I'm just already started my eyebrows and I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Face Hydrating Primer and their Nourishing Primer. I got these two as a gift from when I attended the Makeup Forever event for their new matte vel velvet skin foundation which is amazing and I'm just going to share my thoughts and stuff on the um, really the foundation. Everything else is just what I'm doing. The concealer I'm going to be using on my eyes is the new Jackie Ina Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. It is in the color Warm Sand. I absolutely adore this concealer. It's thick, it's creamy, but if you want the colors that I'm using from the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette to pop a little bit more, then you probably want to use like a white base. I wanted something a bit more skin finished and more of a simple neutral kind of with a pop of color eye. I'm now just really getting into eyeshadows, so my comfort, you know, my comfort zone tends to be like neutral kind of colors. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of setting powder and just set my eyes. So I'm going to take burnt orange from the soft glam palette of Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to put that all over my lid and that is it that is my base color that's all I'm using to put all over my lid and then I'm going to go in and deepen out my crease and I'm going to be using the dark brown it's not it's not that brown dark brown it's more like a warmer brown the color rustic in my crease just to deepen the color shade it out and get more of a shadow effect in the back so that's really it for my eye look I'm going to end up carving out my crease and then I'm going to put a shimmery color because I've been feeling shimmery colors lately and that's just been my whole vibe just to kind of get me out of doing a basic look every single time I find that shiver shimmers allow me to kind of you know be a little bit more bolder in a sense and oh my goodness have y'all seen all the drama that's been going on in the beauty community I just must say that it is a hot mess like I'm like starting to wonder is like drama the only way to really make it as far as like you know um building up you know followers building up like a, a base like a subscriber base you know on YouTube because it is a lot slower it is a lot harder to build on YouTube now and even on Instagram it has dropped down I personally have dropped down because you can't help people get bored and then also you know a lot of your followers want you to this I guess because people assume that because you get a sponsorship video you're not being honest I personally like to stay away from products that don't work on my hair I, I notice that products that are if they work really good for 4C thick hair they're not going to work well for my hair personally because I have fine hair so it just really just depends I'm going to take the rose pink color from the soft glam palette and I'm just going to pretty much press that in all over my lid and then I'm going to clean it up a bit black with the same um, soft brown that I used the color rustic but pretty much, like, I just tend to stay away from products that I know for a fact won't work for me. I've tried certain products, but if it's, like, too heavy or too thick, it's just not going to work for some reason. And with my hair being colored and my hair being fine, that's just how it is. I like to use products that work for me, you know, and it makes it easier working with a company that I like their products versus working with a company that I got to make a lot of effort to make some work, make some shake, and that's just too much work. There's times I've refunded deposits because it just it just wasn't happening. You know, I'm sorry, I hated the product, I didn't like it. You know, it's just what it was, and I refunded the money. I have no problem doing that. No shame in my game. Anyway, so let's get get to the main thing, which is Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. So this foundation, when it was introduced to me, they said it was full coverage, and it is full coverage. Um, they said it was 24 hours wear, that meaning you can wear it for 24 hours. I don't know who needs to wear their makeup for 24 hours because this product is full coverage. So full coverage tends to be very thick on your face and can kind of be un uncomfortable if you don't like heavy products. So be careful how you layer this product. A little does go a long way. I layered it a little bit too much because 
I, I'm just so used to doing that with my product starting off and then, you know, going up again with a little thicker, thicker layer just to make sure everything is full coverage because sometimes products aren't as full coverage as they say. And this product was extremely full coverage. As you can see, my freckles are disappearing. Um, they said this product was waterproof. I didn't jump in the pool or get in the shower on the first date. But ladies, let me know if you tried this product, if it is waterproof for you. So, but pretty much I have nothing but good things to say about this color. All the, it come, they come in 40 shades. So, I'm looking forward to seeing what everybody else thinks about it. For me, this is a new favorite foundation. Especially if I want something full coverage. Probably won't be something I wear all the time. Because it is, it can get heavy. You know, it's, it's, I personally went light on setting my face. Because I was trying to do what the makeup artist did. And since I went kind of thick on my face, I wish I had went a lot heavier with my setting. So I wouldn't have noticed like the feeling of it all for those hours. I kind of noticed the thickness of the foundation. So that was probably my only turn off was that uh, I, sh I should have went a little bit more heavy handed on the setting. I just went light because I was trying to do what the makeup artist was doing. But I had to realize that when he did his um, client's face. He didn't, he wasn't heavy with the foundation. A little went a long way for him. So this was my first go at it. So I'll try again. Again, if you try this product, really take your time. Don't go in for the kill and just overdo it. This product really is full coverage. I'm using the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which again is my favorite. I love this stuff. And that's it. Then I'm going to use my MAC. Light Plus Studio Fix Perfecting Powder. I really like this powder, but my only thing is the packaging of it because the powder gets everywhere. What I mean everywhere, everywhere. But it's like, because it has like a brightening agent, I, I don't put it up under, I don't cut cut out my um contour with it. Like normally when I'm just cleaning up my contour, I'll use like a powder to clean it up. I did it the first time and it just looked a little too bright up underneath there. So I'll normally use Beauty Bakery yellow flower um setting powder to clean up my contour and then i'll just use this powder under my eyes the mac powder under my eyes and i'll leave everything i use in the description box below as usual i don't show how i do my eyeliner and stuff like that because again i'm an amateur i i tend to mess up you don't need to see all of that you're not missing anything I'm sure when I get as I get better and better, you know, I'll start to show that stuff. But the video was, was starting to get a little long, so <laughs> wasn't trying to get it that long. But I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Contour Cream Kit. And this is what I said I had used, like, the way the makeup artist has said to kind of pat in your concealer. And I wish I kind of just put it all over. I'm using Glistenin from the Soft Glam. Um palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills I believe I'm just putting that in the corner of my eyes and give myself a little glow in up under my eyebrow and that's it then I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills lip color in Dusty Rose but I end up adding on another um kind of like a, a lipstick glitter over it and I can't think of the name of it so I'm just going to add it to the description box below and that's it and that's Makeup's Forever Mist and Fix that they used and I hope you like this video and again until next time bye